Assalamu alaikum. I am Tuba Ishtar from Multan Public School and College. A very warm welcome to our YouTube channel. I am here with your class 12 Computer Science Chapter 2. And uh, the Chapter 2 name is Basic Concept and Terminologies of the Database. Dear students, in the previous chapter, we have discussed the file and records in details. In fact, the concept of database evolved from the old traditional working of the file management system means FMS. Here are some contents uh, of the today's lecture, basic definition and relation tables and properties of the relation. Dear students, basic definition fields a field is a unit of data and consisting of one or more character for example employee number employee name or grade of an employee in a record of the employees field a field is a single unit of data stored as part of database record uh, here are the some rows and columns means it's the tabular form uh, the record the vertical form of grid is called the column and horizontal form is the row the intersection of row and column is called a cell each record is made up of one or more fields and which corresponds the to the columns in a database table fields are often referred to as attributes and a record is a collection of related data items treated as a single unit is called a record a database record consists of one set of the fields for a given relational table in a relational table in a relational database record correspond to rows each in each table a file a file is a collection of related records treated as a single unit is called a file or data set a collection of related records treated as a single unit is called a file or data set field is e uh, like is equal to column is equal to data items and is equal to data elements attributes and then properties a record is equal to row tuple plus occurrence of the table and entity instance and file is equal to table relation data set data object entity and the database the collection of the tables with some traditional files and some other some other necessary data object is termed as a database my dear students uh, the above mentioned records can be shown uh, as uh, as it would appear on the hard disk as follow the actually all the data will be saved onto the disk as in combination of zeros and ones and the machine language from each field will occupy the space as would be allocated at the time of its definition each record in a file system becomes a row of a relation in database and each record of file management system is called the tuple of uh, occurrence of the table uh, this is also called the entity instance and each entity is composed of attributes fields and each attribute fields of a table has a unit of information file management system corresponds to a database management system as you know the record layouts are properly defined in the file management system the students for example each field is given a fixed or variable length sequence of bytes and they are put together 
continuously in fixed or variable length collections called the record um, each field correspond to a proper starting memory address as the fields have the already given been given proper length so the value of each fields are determined within those memory addresses c and uh, uh, now we are talking about the relation of table and what is relation relation or table is the basis of relational dbms dbms means the database management system a relation must have the following characteristics no duplicate row and then order of the rows in insignificant and then order of the column is insignificant and attributes have to be atomic uh, if i uh, tell you that in the 1960s the researchers came up with the idea of the using relation relational database instead of the file structure my dear students they gave the idea of defining a file as a two dimensional array or table having the unique name placing all the fields as the column and have unique name of that table and putting each record as a row into the table and each row is also known as a tuple or occurrence in the that table we can um, see the traditional file structure into a new easy to manage the database structure uh, that is called a table or relation properties relation table number 1 was the duplicate row no duplicate row a relation or table first i want to tell you that relation or table is a two dimensional array or table of data containing the descriptive information uh, about an entity the entity must have a unique identifier which is composed of a combination of one or more attributes and each attributes must have one and only one value it is appropriate to define the world entity here and the entity is anything about which you want to keep information in the database let's consider an example of the students information system which has the entities like the student teacher course list scholarship time tabling and uh, um, so on and the entities involved in this case are the same and the entity student can be defined in the form of databases for properties of a relation here is are the properties of the relation a relation or a table which is basis of a relational dbms means the database management system by definition must have the certain inherent characteristics that form the basic promets underlying the strength and flexibility because of these features an application implemented by using such a system in much more flexible and can be easily and can be easily modified when alternation means the alteration and the alteration or enhancement to the underlying data database take place and these characteristics are number 1 is no duplicate rows exist means no duplicate no row no two rows can be identical why why to put two rows records for the same entity for example a person it will also violate the definition of what a relation for represents as it says by the definition that there must be a unique key for each row in a relation table for example uh, there is a table uh, means the row number 1 ali and name is ali and the class is second year and then 
रोल नंबर अगेन द वन इफ़ वी राइट द रोल नंबर सेम अभी गिव देम अ रोल नंबर एज वन अली एंड सेकेंड ईयर इट्स अ डुप्लीकेट रो नो डुप्लीकेशन विद इन द रोज इज अलाउड सो इफ वी राइट द रोल नंबर टू एंड द नेम इज सेम एंड द सेकेंड ईयर दिस विल नॉट ट्रीटेड एज ए डुप्लीकेट रो इन रिलेशनल रिलेशन नो टू रोज कैन बी द सेम देर इज नो नीड टू रिपीट अ रो एंड देर मस्ट बी वन फील्ड यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई द रो फ्रॉम अदर विच इज कॉल्ड द प्राइमरी की नंबर टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ कॉलम इज इन सिग्निफिकेंट अगेन द ऑर्डर ऑफ द कॉलम एट्रीब्यूट इज डिफाइनिंग अ रिलेशन टेबल हैज नो सिग्निफिकेंस एंड द लेटर इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द लेटर सेम एज इंस्ट्रक्शन बिफोर वी हैव गिवन एंड द लेटर इंसर्शन ऑफ द कॉलम्स आर मेड एट एंड ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग कॉलम बाय द सिस्टम इट सेल्फ द सिस्टम इक्वायर्स द डाटा ऑफ कॉलम्स बाय देयर नेम्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ रोज आर रीऑर्डर्ड इट विल नॉट अफेक्ट द डाटा सेम as in the picture and at the same time a query order can be defined while inserting the data order doesn't matter it enables many users to share same table without the concern how data is organized now the th- third and the last the order of column is not significant the attribute or columns are all elemental or atomic all the in intersections of rows and column must have a single value and the nulls are inserted by the system at the time of the later insertion of the column and which should immediately be replaced by zero spaces or valid values for that particular column and the properties relation again the attributes have to be atomic have to be atomic all the cells or intersection of a row and columns must have the atomic value means the roll number name class address number 1 ali and cla- number 1 roll number is ali with the name ali and the, with the class name second year and the address is lhr means the lahore and the second roll number kasim first year and the address is karachi an atomic value cannot be further subdivided multiple values in a cell are not allowed for example name and address should be placed in two different fields my dear student this is the the end of today's chapter uh, i must say that you all, um, all are very much aware of the databases and rows and columns field files and we will inshallah more discussed on the databases because we have seven chapters about databases inshallah until next chapter we will meet again with the new chapter with the new lecture allah hafiz and stay safe